Okay, welcome back to Miss Curtis's art class. Today we're going to have a lot of fun making these spooky eyeballs. So we're going to experiment with color and we're going to use our watercolors to inside this area of the eye. So if you have your pupil and then you're going to have the white area in here. We are going to use different colors and I want you to kind of have fun experimenting and seeing how they interact with each other. And then at the end, once they dry, we're going to use a little bit of black pen and we're going to go over those areas and um, create almost like a texture in the eye that makes it look a little bit more real. Um, this step further is to cut these out, put them on a larger circle, and then you can actually make the eyeball look even creepier, spookier with um, some blood vessels that we can draw and, um, and put those through the eye as well. Okay, so let's get started. So with this handout, I have four eyeballs that I'm going to experiment, and I'm gonna see which one that I like the best once I am done. Um, and you can use any, you can use any of these three. You could even use a color pencil. So here I have a black um, Crayola marker, I have a Sharpie marker, and I have a black crayon. And for this, we are going to be coloring in the pupil of the eye, and we are going to leave a little reflection. So I'm going to draw some of the reflections first. So I'll start down here. And in this area, again, I just want to draw out a reflection within. So you can decide how you want to make yours look. There's a few different ideas. So here I'm just doing two areas that I'm going to leave white just to show a little reflection. Um, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna show you another idea. You could do like three of them. So I'm gonna start with kind of like a rectangular shape right here. One more. And then I'm gonna have it kind of thin out here. So there I have three, I did two, and you can play, like I said, you can play around with it. So here I'm just gonna kinda do one that's kind of oblong-y, and another one next to it. Okay, and I'll just do one more over here. Okay. Now again, these you are going to want to keep white. So we are going to color in this whole area completely black, and then we can start to move on with the watercolors. So I'm gonna start by using the Sharpie, and like I said, you can use any of these, um, whether it's the marker, crayon, or a color pencil, just make sure that you get the entire area. So I'm just gonna show you that you're going to use the tip, take your time, hold your paper with your opposite hand, and I am going to color in this area, kind of going around the outer edge first, very carefully, trying not to go outside the line. I want to keep that circle, the integrity of the circle, the best that I can. And I'm going to fill in this whole area. And again, I'm going to go around these reflections. Okay. All right, I'm gonna speed this up, show you how it looks once these are colored in, and then we're gonna move on to experimenting with some watercolors. All right, so now that I created the pupil of the eye, right, so it's nice and dark, I am ready to start experimenting with the crazy spookiness of the inside of the eye, which I am really excited to do. So I am going to move this stuff out of the way. I have my watercolors and I have my water cup and my paper towel and my brush. So remember to activate your watercolors. You are going to need to add three drops of water 
into the watercolor paint. So that's what I'm gonna do first. And then I am going to swish my brush in it and bring it to the picture right here. Um, remember too that when you're switching colors, you need to wash your brush really good. So let's start with hmm, maybe a little bit of orange. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, add three drops of water, swishing my brush in. And I'm going to start down here and I'm going to simply add some orange. And I'm just going around the um, pupil right here. Now I decided to try all of the um, writing utensils I had. So I did crayon here, here I did Sharpie. So if I'm using the paintbrush over this or the crayon, I know I'm going to be fine but it might um, smear a little bit with the Crayola marker, just an FYI. Okay. All right. Now I think I'm going to clean my brush really good, swishing it at the bottom of the cup, really rinsing it, getting any paint off. You really gotta scrub that bottom of the cup. And then I'm gonna go into yellow, one, two, three. And I'm gonna to start to play with some yellow. And I'm also going to see how these colors start to interact with each other. Try to blend out a little bit, it should be fun. All right, I'm gonna speed this up and I can't wait to see how you make your spooky eyeballs look. Okay, so that was super fun. Um, I experimented with different colors here. I'm gonna let these dry, and then I'm gonna come back in, and I am going to um, cut them out and use the pen, like I was showing you, that I'm gonna like kinda add some scribbles that make it look um, a little more fun and spooky and realistic. And then we can always glue these and put them onto a larger white um, part of the eye and then have the blood vessels coming out as well. All right, so these dried and I did cut them out. Um, I experimented on this to see how this would look. So I actually recommend using the um, black color pencil you can get some nice texture with this. So I am going to now add some details in to this eye right here. Um, okay, so again, I'm using this. I am going to basically be scribbling out lines coming out in a radial design from the center point here, which means basically it's going to come out almost like sun, sun rays coming out from the middle. So I'm going to start by making some lines, and then you can also just kind of scribble them through. So this is the one project I will tell you, you can do some scribbling. Not too much, you still wanna see the color below, but I'm definitely gonna put some lines that are coming out like sun rays from the middle part here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go around and darken the perimeter just a little bit. Just around the circle of the eye here. And I'm gonna do that a little bit in the middle as well. So remember, these are spooky, so they're supposed to look kind of um, creepy and they don't have to be perfect. So that's why it's okay for us to kind of like scribble these lines in a little bit. Add some texture, a little bit of variety. And this this darkening with the color pencil also just, just makes it look a little more interesting. Just kind of rotating it. And then we just kind of scribble around that area as well. And then up in here, just a little bit, right around the pupil. And then I think I will go through and just kind of like darken a few of these lines coming out. Thank you. 
Okay, so check out those eyeballs. They're pretty cool. Um, and like I said, you can either use a ballpoint pen or the colored pencil, and this seemed to work really well. Um, the next thing that we would do is on a larger piece of paper, and probably even larger than this one, you are going to um, create a circle, or um, I may have some circles already for you, and we are gonna put our eyeball in the circle. Um, some of you might wanna have your eyeball like looking down in one direction and glue it there, or up towards the top, or maybe just cent center it. Um, so that's up to you. And you can, again, experiment with all the eyeballs that you made, like if maybe you want the more, this one like that's more purpley and green, or I might just work with this one. So I think I'll use this one today. And I'm going to now teach you how to make some blood vessels coming out. And then we're also going to do some shading around this area here to um, kind of create that sphere look. All right, so now you're gonna see that we're gonna to start to add um, some of these veins coming out of the eye. Like I said, these are so creepy looking. Um, I would suggest using a pencil pencil first and draw them in and then use the black colored pencil over it. So you can see I did that here. And then you're just gonna take the red color pencil and go over these lines as well. Um, remember, since this is a sphere, the eye is a sphere, you're gonna want to have these coming out in a radial design. So if you are doing the line coming out here from this part of the eye, so some of them can come from the colorful part or some can come down from this corner, go out again in a radial design. So don't like come over here and go like this way. You wanna like go towards the middle area, okay? All right, so um, again, you can use your pencil and just have some of them, they should be organic looking. So they should just look kind of non-perfect and they don't, they can all be a little bit different and space them out. You don't want like a ton near each other and then maybe just rotate your paper as you go. So maybe I have like almost like tree branches, just like a few there. And you can have like a couple little ones coming off and I'll have one coming this way this time. And they can touch the other end of the eye as well. So you can see how that's how that's working. Um, and then I would take my black color pencil and go over it if I like what I have. And again, they're just kind of like curvy and not perfect and kind of weird, like tree branches. Okay, so now I'm just outlining them with black and then I'm gonna put some red over top of that. And then I'm gonna show you how to shade the outside of the eye. And these will be super fun looking. Okay, so I'm gonna speed that up. And I cannot wait to see how yours come out. Okay, so now the last thing that we're gonna do is we are going to kind of just shade around this outer edge um, and that's gonna make this look a little more like a sphere. So I'm going to use the black and the red color pencils and I'm just gonna start by with the red and I'm gonna go right around here. Now I don't want it to be like a perfect, like I kind of want it to look a little liney, like so it's not like totally filled in. And I'm just gonna go, it's gonna be like darker and then lighter and lighter. So it's just like shading or adding a little bit of value here so that it's darker towards the edge and then lightens and lightens until it's like basically nothing. Um, and because this is an eyeball, it is a sphere. We don't want it to look totally flat. We wanna add some dimension to it. So this is how we're gonna achieve that. So I'm just gonna go, Make it a little liney looking, darker towards the edge, just like this, and then lighter. So I am going back in here now and just going a little darker, and then lighter, lighter, lighter until you don't see anything. 
So I'm gonna go around the whole eyeball and do this with the red first, and then I'm gonna layer some black on top. We're just gonna make this eyeball as creepy as possible. And then the other thing we're gonna do at the end is we're just gonna cut out this, um, this whole eyeball, okay? So, just gonna work my way in. Going around in a circular motion. Just like so. Darker towards the inside. And then, like I said, I'm gonna layer some of the black on top. So I'll take my black color pencil, and go in here as well. That looks really nice on top. Like that. Darker towards the outside, and then bringing in those lines. And remember, I'm not doing this like as perfect as I like we have shade shaded other things or if I showed you how to do some value with some other objects. I just actually want it to kind of look liney because this eyeball is spooky. All right, I'm gonna speed this up and show you how it looks. Okay, so yeah, there is that spooky eyeball all together. I'm now going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this out very carefully. And then I am finished. I can't wait to see how your eyeballs come out and you can get as creative as you want. Remember, you can experiment with the watercolors when you are making your the inside eye here. Um, and you can just see how they blend together. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed making this lesson. And I look forward to next week's class with you.